Following a hugely impressive 2016, Minji Lee has plenty to be happy about. The rising Australian star, who's now 20, has added two more LPGA titles to her already impressive resume this year. And she also represented her country at the Rio Olympics. No surprise then that Min Ji's in a pretty good place after her second full-time season on the LPGA Tour. I feel like I can contend in any, in any tournament because obviously I've won twice this year and then once last year. So it, yeah, that, those wins have really given me confidence to, I don't know, just, have, like, just enjoy myself while competing at the highest level. Minji's LPGA victories this season came in very different circumstances. Her first was at the Lotter Championship in Hawaii, starting five shots behind the leader, heading into the final round. A sensational eight under 64 saw her charge to the top of the leaderboard and finish there at the end of the day. Hawaii, I sort of wasn't expecting to Annette come out with a win, so no, I just went out there and had lots of fun and a whole, a whole lot of heart, so. It gave me a lot of confidence because I wasn't expecting it. Win number two came at Blue Bay in China, where the situation from Hawaii was reversed. At the halfway point, Minji appeared to have the tournament in the bag, but the rest of the field had other ideas, and things got pretty interesting by the time it got to the back nine on Sunday. Blue Bay, I played really well the first two rounds, and I had, what, a six-shot lead, I think, going into the last 36, so... Yeah, no, I, I think it's harder to have such a big lead um, than actually coming from behind. So I think it's, it's probably easier to chase someone than try and maintain the lead. With a bogey at the 71st hole, Minji's lead was gone. However, an up and down birdie on the last was good enough for victory. Minji wasn't the only one feeling the stress, with her visiting grandmother not sure what to do as the tournament ebbed and flowed over the closing stages. She was like in the hotel room on 17 and she was like gonna change and then come out on 18 if I was gonna win. So she was like, oh, I, I put my clothes on and then I took it off. <laughs> it was funny, it was, it was nice to see her there and when I finished and she gave me a big hug when I was done. Minji isn't the only member of the family making golfing headlines. Her younger brother, Min Wu, won this year's US Junior Amateur. Minji had won the girls' version in 2012. And that makes them the first ever brother-sister combination to achieve that feat. I'm super proud of him. I, I, I'm always, I think, harder on him because I, I know it's going to be harder for him to get on tour. We don't really practice together, but we have the occasional putting comp or chipping comp. Um, no, he hasn't, he hasn't beaten me yet, so he's yet to do that. <laughs> the Lee siblings aren't the only Aussies to have tasted success this year. Curtis Luck won the US Amateur and the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship and was a member of the victorious Eisenhower Trophy team as well. Golf Australia's high performance program is clearly paying dividends. They push you to, to go in the right direction and um, they give us funding to travel internationally, which not many countries give that opportunity to their like juniors and their amateurs. Um, so we're really fortunate that we have uh, such great, um, great organisations in Australia. The LPGA Tour can boast a group of rising stars who are well placed to dominate women's golf for years to come. Aria Chitanagan is 21 and one player of the year in 2016. Lydia Ko is 19 and number one on the Rolex rankings, and they're helping to push Min Ji. I think we're each other's biggest motivation because one week you see them win and you're like, oh, I really want to do that as well. So yeah, I mean, we're all really good friends out here and we're all pretty much similar age. So yeah, I mean, we're very competitive, we're aggressive, and I guess we don't have much fear. Minji has already achieved plenty as a professional, and before that she reached number one in the world amateur golf rankings and won the prestigious Mark McCormack medal. It's not a bad start to her young career, but she's still got big plans for her future in the game. My ultimate goal is to uh, be in the Hall of Fame, and that means winning all the majors. So, I mean, we're out here each week um, trying to win tournaments. I mean, I don't think anybody out here is coming out here to 
I don't know, come second or come tenth, you know. Like, we all come out here to do our very best and hopefully come out with a win at the end of the week.